Well, the wind has died down for the most part. So I'm going to put up that sheet of plywood that blew off my shed. This is actually pretty difficult to do one person. Um, the plywood isn't all that heavy, but it's top heavy and it tends to fall back down on top of your head. Um, it can be pretty awkward. Um, last time I tried it, it knocked me off the ladder. So I want to be very careful. I don't want to hurt myself. The ground is uneven. The soil is a little higher on this side. So luckily I can use my step ladder, which is better because it's less of a fall. <laughs> I'm going to tie a rope around the plywood so to keep it from falling if the wind blows. But I have to make sure not to nail the rope in there. I want to be able to get the rope out. So it's a little tricky. Um, you'll notice there's a gap in my wall all the way around. And the reason for that is because I measured wrong. I used an 8 foot 2 by 4 when I should have uh, taken into account the top 2 by 4 and the bottom 2 by 4 and subtracted it. So my wall is like 8 foot 4 inches. So two sheets of plywood won't cover it. So I left a gap in the middle. I'm going to stucco over that anyway. Uh, the nails didn't bend. It pulled out pretty cleanly, so I can reuse those nails, which is good because I don't have any more. I have to run to the shop. But at least I can put up the original nails, go to the shop, and then put in more so it doesn't happen again. I just used clothesline for the rope to secure that plywood. That was a bad choice. It got wet and lost its strength. Uh, the rope just ended up breaking, but I didn't need it anyway. This went smoother than I thought. So mission accomplished. And now I'll enjoy a nice cup of dandelion root tea. I don't know if you know about dandelion root. Dandelion is a pretty interesting plant. It doesn't grow here in the desert, but it does in the mountains of Arizona. And we had plenty of it back east. Uh, the leaves are very bitter. Um, I sometimes buy them at the supermarket for my rabbits and my goats. They love it, but uh, it's too bitter for me. I've even boiled it. Can't get out that bitterness. But the root isn't as bitter. The root doesn't taste like much, actually, like a typical root. But they chop it up and roast it, and it becomes kind of, and it adds like a chicory or coffee flavor to it. It's very tasty. I enjoy drinking it. It's a pretty good diuretic, so it helps me with my kidneys and uh, my blood pressure. You know, it makes you pee. Lots of things do. Coffee, beer. Um, but if you don't want coffee or beer, this will work. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. It's good stuff. Very healthy for you. And that's all I have for today. I'm going to head out to the store and buy some more nails. I'll see you next time.